Do you believe somebody could be trained potentially to sense information, not by reading a book, but by touching a book? I have a crazy story to share with you. In my book, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind, I, I shared this story to some degree, but the story is so wild, I didn't go into the full story. And it's a story about how I learned through a teacher how to absorb information from a book by touching it. Now, let me give you an idea of, of what happened. And I'm recording this at home under quarantine. So excuse the, the lower than usual production qualities for Mind Valley. In 2002, so this was shortly after the dot-com crisis, I had lost my company in San Francisco. I'd lost my savings and the economy had completely tanked because the dot-com bubble had burst the year before. It was January 2002 and I finally got a job. But it was a really horrible job. There was no one hiring. I remember the month I had lost my business, 14,000 other people had been laid off in Silicon Valley. So that time was very similar to our present time with COVID-19. So I started resume spamming every company that was having a position open on any jobs that I could find. And finally, I got offered a position. But because the economy was so bad and so many people were applying for the position, this company was not even paying a base salary. Basically, I had to pick up the phone and sell software to lawyers. And I only got paid if I closed the sale. Now, I was an engineer. I knew nothing about sales. And the first month, I made absolutely nothing. I was struggling. But that wasn't all. You see, when you have to pick up a phone and call a lawyer in the middle of his or her busy working day, lawyers are the worst people to interrupt. I got told to kid more times than I, I ever want to remember. And I guess one day in this miserable job, because there was no other options, after being told perhaps the 13th time to by a lawyer, I sank into a bit of a depression. And I decided I needed to do something about this situation I was in. Times were tough. Uh, the dot-com bubble had burst. There were very few opportunities. What could I do? So I went on Google. Back then, Google was, was had just launched as a search engine. And I can't remember what I typed in. Maybe it was, why does life suck so bad? Or Google, please help me. And what was interesting is, I can't remember how, but I stumbled upon a particular class. And in my book, I did not share the name of the class back then, but now I just got the permission and the rights to share the name of the class. And it was called Silva Ultramine. It was a class developed by mind science pioneer, Jose Silva. He had passed away in 1999. And this class claimed to teach you to access altered states to in particular, go to the theta level of mind and bring out your intuition. So I thought, okay, the, the, the teacher of this class had a promise. She said that if you were in sales, this class would completely transform your life, right? It would just accelerate your life. And I did some research and I found that that the founder of the class, Jose Silva, had actually written this book in the 1970s, Sales Power, using the Silver Mind Control Method. He'd actually written hundreds of books. Many had become New York Times bestsellers. This was a man who was in the 70s and 80s was pioneering new ways of understanding the human mind. And so I thought, okay, I'll go take this class and I'll see, maybe it'll help me improve my sales. What I experienced though was unexpected. So I flew to Los Angeles, I took the class, and I flew back that Sunday night, ready to start work on Monday. Now back then, in 2002, in San Francisco, I was assigned to San Antonio as a territory. So I had to call up every lawyer in San Antonio. And how we did it back then, because this was the early days of the internet, is that we had to go to the San Francisco Public Library, check out the Yellow Pages. Um, any of you over 35 will remember the Yellow Pages. And I had to go to San Antonio, and I had to use the San Antonio Yellow Pages and call every lawyer from A to Z. So that was the standard protocol, right? But now, after what I'd learned in the Silva class, I decided to try something different. I entered my altered state of mind and then I held my hand on the yellow pages and I let my hand gently flow down the page and I would feel an impulse every time there was a lawyer that my, my inner mind or intuition felt I should call. I would only call that lawyer. Overnight, I doubled my sales. Now I'm an engineer, so I'd apply data to everything I was doing. I knew that there was a sequence. I had to call lawyers, I had to get past the assistant, I had to get the lawyer to ask for a brochure, blah, 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 blah. I could map all of that out. And sometimes you have a good week, sometimes a bad week. I had more bad weeks than good weeks, but all of a sudden, my sales doubled. 
It literally doubled and I could track it and I couldn't even believe it. I thought, okay, maybe next week the sales will drop again. But the next week it stayed at that level. Somehow I was closing twice as many lawyers by going with the impulse from the yellow pages, from running my fingers down this book. Then I decided to bring in other tools from this program, Silva Ultraman. I used a tool called the mental video technique and my sales doubled and doubled and doubled again. I was 26 years old back in 2002 and what happened is that in a span of four months I got promoted three times. I was made director of sales and the company sent me to leave their New York office. That was how my career started and it all was due to this mysterious technique called Silva Ultramine. Now what I ended up doing was I stayed with that company for 18 months. I was able to accelerate my career and 18 months later I felt a calling. I felt, you know, I wanted to do something more with my life and not just be in technology sales. And so I decided, well, this particular program, Silva Ultramine, had changed my life so dramatically, I want to go deeper in its study and I felt the best way to learn is to teach. So I got qualified to become a teacher. And for five years, I was teaching this program across the world. This eventually would lead to me starting Mind Valley. More on that later. But if you're interested in understanding the nuances of Silver Ultramine and the techniques I was bringing in, I want to invite you to a special masterclass I'm doing this week. The masterclass is called How to Access Altered States of Mind for Powerful Guidance and Problem Solving. And what you're going to learn is how to tap into the alpha, theta, and delta levels of mind. Yes, even the mysterious delta state to get to a situation in life where there are no more worries because whatever is coming to you, you can deal with it by accessing the unique nuances of this state. Now, in our world today, the altered state economy is a trillion dollar economy. In Stephen Kotler's famous book, Stealing Fire, he speaks about how everyone from CEOs to Marines uh, to engineers are using altered states for inspiration to move things faster. And people are using techniques involving neurotraining, plant medicine, and so on. Silva Ultramine is one of the most powerful techniques, but it died out for a while because the founder passed away in 1999. For the last 20 years, I've been working to rebuild the foundation of that work and bring it out to the masses. And now, Mind Valley is about to release the program. And I want to invite you to join this masterclass because I have been studying altered states for 20 years. And these are some of the most powerful techniques that you could possibly learn on how to tap into intuition, how to, in a way, shift reality and create coincidences, and how to remove any barrier that you may encounter in life. Check it out. It's completely free. Playing on Mind Valley this week.